everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Lego Harry Potter. And there we go. We got it right first time. I will fail one before the LP is over, I'm sure. But this LP is going to be really long. There's like seven years of this. There's seven years of Harry Potter. Seven. Alright, six of seven. I didn't miss one. All right, before we do anything else, we need to do this, I think. Bye, guy protecting the door. Thanks, guy in the red tuxedo, I guess. I seriously don't really know what's going on here. However, I do see a character underneath there, and what I'm betting is that uh, Scabbers can get it. Look at that. Harry and his girl disguise. <laughs> it's the collectible item you've always wanted. Alright, well there's our Gryffindor crest. Man, I didn't even get close to a true wizard on this one. Also, that obstacle just knocked me down. Oh, seriously here. If I remember correctly... Yeah. You can do that. And clearly the game expects you to, right? I mean, I think this is where you're supposed to, how you're supposed to get that, that house crest, right? But, you know, what do I know? All right. Oh, I could have knocked down those things. What well, can I still? I can't. Okay. I mean, does that matter? I guess not. It's still nice to do it. All right. We still haven't messed one up yet. You can attach these to anyone. Anyone can go to anyone. It doesn't matter. Oh, I, I, I think I hit True Wizard while it was building that thing. Wow! I did not get a lot in this level. I mean, that's cool. I'll take it. Yeah, they gave us some like extra stuff at the end here just in case I believe if we knock down the spider web a spider will come back and rebuild it there we go the endless spider webs just what you always wanted right hit this guy I think you'll set up fireworks there's a purple back there See, we were good regardless. All right.
So he caught the thing in his ear. Uh, the snitch? Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. We got Girl Disguise Harry, and we got two house crops. Miss Slytherin and Badger World. Or whatever. <laughs> I like Badger World. No, Badger World is where I live. <laughs> like... Alright. We're in good shape. And uh, we might as well continue the story. Maybe it'll take us back to Hogwarts. I mean, we don't have any new abilities, really. Strength potions. But we have two red bricks now. And that's pretty cool. I like it. I really like what we're doing so far. It's working well for me. And I'm really enjoying myself. Because this game's just stupid. It's just... It's, it's, and it's good. Like, it's... You, like, okay, here's the thing. I almost never anymore um, don't... I, I almost never LP a game that I'm not psyched about playing. So, I mean, sometimes I do. But even bad games that I play, I'm just like, oh, this is going to be great. Like, hard games I play, same thing. I don't know why there's a thing blocking this. We came through this way. All right, and we need Leviosa here because, uh, yeah, because of this. And that solves that problem for all eternity. We never have to use the dumb broom again. And just like that, it's Christmas. Lego branded Christmas. Alright, we don't really have any Slytherin kind of, you know, get get into Slytherin abilities until we get Polyjuice Potion. We really can't uh, attack any of this stuff. I mean, not effectively, anyway. So, yeah, we can't get into there. Um, we can't get into... Wait, what do we need to get into here? Uh, we probably have to get through what's in this chest, which, that's gonna be a bet. This is like year two, this is like year three... Uh, this is definitely, um, this is for parcel mouth, like, or parcel tongue, so that's definitely year two. <laughs> what is going on with that guy? Alright, let's check out what we can do with some of these things, like this. There we go. That was actually pretty cool. Okay, so when you try to go in here, she'll look at you, and if you qualify, she will scream and break the glass, and then the thing opens. And you have to watch that animation every time you want to get into the Gryffindor common room. Wait, was Gryffindor right? Yeah. Yeah. I have to think about the stupid PS1 version of Harry Potter going, uh, five points to Gryffindor. Like, ten points to Gryffindor. Hmm. You can clearly see his butt. Hmm. All right, so I at first off, let me just say I hate the invisibility cloak dynamic in this game. But, uh, okay. But it is Harry's, like, special talent. So, yeah, you put this thing on, and then these books normally would attack you, right? They're mean. They're mean-spirited books. You get close to them, you hit triangle, and you jump on them, and then they die. You murder them. You murder them. Apparently, the game thinks they have that coming. I mean, I think they're just trying to be the best evil books they can be. Okay, fine. I'll take the cloak off so I can jump. But th one of the problems with the cloak is you can't really do anything while you're wearing it. 
Okay, we got that. Now we have no Hermione. So we can't do any Hermione stuff in this little area. But this is a level, so... Now one of the things we can do, flip this around, boom. And apparently it's a spell we know, so we can... We can you... It looks like it's just the exploding door thing we did the other... The other day, though. The other day. We did in, uh... You know, whatever that street is. If you go too far back here, I think you get bitten by stuff. Yeah, there we go. Get chased out by stuff. But if you come over here, I mean, there is stuff you can do, like... Oh, we need to light those. Okay. We knock those down. We put it back up. With magic. Because, you know, that's how people set up dominoes in this reality, too. Because why would you ever do anything that is, like, time-consuming and rewarding when you can just wave a magic wand? Right? Okay, it looks like... Oh, it looks like I'm tired because I'm yawning. Uh, it looks like there's only four in this room. Doesn't surprise me. This level's a little longer than just this room, so... Yeah, vertical sandwich, of course it is! I, well, I, I mean, I know that's obvious, but... It's obvious on its face, I get that. Yeah, I think these things will, like, grow out and give you another way up here. That's really what that's all about. Okay. That bookshelf just did some weird stuff. What is it doing? Oh. Okay. Got it. Alright, go down. The spider apparently is an ingredient. Where is there going to be a popsicle in this area? I mean, seriously. Logically, where would there, where would a popsicle be in a library? Where would you keep such a thing? <laughs> I mean, I guess in a refrigerator is the logical answer to that, but I, I don't like it. I don't I don't like it at all. I think this game is just being foolish now. No, I. Shoot this thing. Get that thing doing the thing it does. I don't know what it does. I mean, it's a bird, so it flies around. But why can't I see it anymore? Where did it go? And then dropped a bunch of studs. But gave me no answers. It also told me no lies, though. I like the magic noise that my controller makes. This, like, enchanted prince kind of kissing the princess kind of noise. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, that's a horrible explanation. It's like a harp trill, really. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say about that. Other than that, it, like, makes this... It, 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 it does this harp trill... Every time I'm near something that it wants me to magic. And that's not a great system. So let's do it right over here. I don't know. Hit this. Hit this. 
Can I hit the chair? I mean, I can levitate Ron, but that's not very helpful. I just need a popsicle. That's all I need. And I'm pretty sure it's up in the second side of the room, but... Because we went to such great lengths to find a way up there. Oh yeah, this thing. Right, okay, there we go. That was all I needed. See, there's this wall of ice, and it makes sense. Behind a wall of ice, in a library, there would be a popsicle. So there we go. Exploding cauldron. Just what every wizard needs. Alright, when we come back, more of this. Bye, everybody.